Southside Arena. We saw Red James try to join the Gorilla Militia. He wanted to be the new initiate. As you've seen, D'Lo, in your travels down here to Texoma, the Gorilla Militia has been running rather rampant. I know you've had your hands full of Shane Taylor. Yeah. But there's been something crazy going on, and Red wanted a part of that, and he didn't really seem up to snuff last night. So no, tonight, he, he, got, uh, he got dropped on his head. I have to think that he's got something to prove tonight, and tonight he's in, in the ring with someone that Walker's very familiar with, that being Walker. The spotlight, Logan Knight. The spotlight of the night, Logan Knight. That's correct. You know, I love calling our action. I love doing shows at the uh, Elks Lodge Arena in Sherman, Texas. But there's something fun about doing these Oklahoma shows and seeing some of our incredible superstars that hail from this great state, being able to perform in front of their family and friends. There's something great about these Oklahoma shows. Shout out to all the Oklahomies, man. Speaking of Red James, here he is. Tell us a little bit about this guy, Walker. A lot of us were introduced to him for the first time last night as he was working security for us and decided he wanted to join up. Well, I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of Red James all across the great state of Oklahoma. He's a fantastic individual. I mean, I've met him on multiple occasions. He was nice enough to me at the very least. But one thing is for certain, he definitely bit off a little bit more than he could chew last night, if my memory serves correct. But Red James, he was looking for an opportunity. As we talked about D'Lo yesterday, mm -hmm. all you can ask for in professional wrestling is an opportunity, and that's what he got. Well, all you can ask for is an opportunity. Unfortunately, that opportunity came up to bite him in the ass. Ended up being an opportunity to get his rear end kicked. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> On the business end of a uh, right hand from Big Sad. Taking his time like any good entertainer. He's going to make the crowd wait for it. And Tony, I'll tell you one thing. It's something to, worth waiting for. The Spotlight Logan Knight. He is one of the greatest professional wrestlers to step through these here ropes in the state of Oklahoma. He hasn't proven himself in Texoma Pro Wrestling yet, but it's just a matter of time. And that's what you have to do. You can be great everywhere else, but you have to prove yourself here in Texoma Pro. Let's see what the Spotlight's got in store for big old Red there. Both of these guys have a lot to gain from a win here. As I said, Walker, you're more familiar with both of these gentlemen, so I'm going to let you take lead on this match. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I was, spe I was speaking to Red James in the back, and, and him and I had a, a couple of discussions, and one of the things that he brought up to me that he thinks he went about things the wrong way yesterday. He shouldn't have vouched for the guerrilla militia. He shouldn't have tried to intervene in that situation. He's looking to start anew, and that starts tonight with the spotlight. And that's what you need to do. You make a mistake. You don't repeat the mistake. You get up, get back on the horse, and you start riding again. And this is what Red is trying to do. Now he's going to strike out and do it his own way. Referee Candace in great position here as this match starts. He's doing a collar and elbow. Logan forcing Red back off into the ropes. And Red giving up, opening up for a clean break here. And if there's one thing that the spotlight Logan Knight likes to do, it sure as hell is talk. Beautiful hip toss there from the spotlight. Wow, spotlight launched Red into those ropes with tremendous amount of force. Looked like Red almost fell through the ropes as how much force was on that. Oh, standing arm drag. Spotlight of the night does talk a lot, Logan Knight, but, I mean, if you're not your biggest fan, how do you expect anyone else to be a fan, right? you got to oh, believe in yourself. That's a great point to make, Tony. It's all about the lights, the cameras, and the action for the spotlight. But Red James, I mean, let's talk about this. He's been thrust into a spotlight of his own recently, gentlemen. Uh-oh, full body slam. No, spotlight gets out of it. Spotlight lifting him up on his own. Knight now. The Big, body slamming the pizza. flex to follow. Good leverage move there, slamming Red down. That's not a move that you beat somebody with. That's just a move that lets them know that you can take control of them anytime you want. Absolutely. Irish whip attempt now. Red James, what's he looking for? Hip toss. Hip toss over. Nice. And now what's Red got in mind? Arm drag of his own. And I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing out of Red James here recently. And Red with the full body slam. Good night. 
Well, from what I hear, cover one, just a one count. From what I hear, Red James has been one of those hardworking guys up here paying his dues, making the towns, setting up the ring, tearing it down, doing everything the right way. So if anybody deserves a spotlight or if anybody deserves to share a spotlight with the spotlight, it would be Red James in my opinion. Well, absolutely. You do all of that for what, Tony? You do it for an opportunity. The opportunity mm -hmm. has presented itself here. We talked about the lights, camera, and action. It's happening here tonight in Ardmore, Oklahoma. And I, will, I will tell you this one thing I tell all my students. You can't get an opportunity if you're not in the building when someone presents one. And that's what Red does. He's there setting the ring up, as you said. He's there driving the ring truck around. He's doing whatever it takes to be present when an opportunity is afforded. I've heard you say that many times, D'Lo. Always have your gear bag with you. Always, you never I, know. I got my gear bag in the car right now. Exactly. There you go. Because you can still go. I saw you. Come on. I don't tell anybody that, man. I don't tell anybody that. Yeah, we might need to discuss that. <laughs> like, I'm done gentlemen. taking bumps. I'm done. Yeah, bro, we, <laughs> we got to go to payoff, bro. We got to come on. Got to hit up Dr. G again before that. Come on. Let's bro, go. I need Dr. G right now. Red James, I love this Clash of Styles tonight. It's been one match after another with the Clash of Styles. Here we have the flashy uh, spotlight of the night, Logan Knight against the no-nonsense Red James. The guy's in there in a wife beater and jeans. He looks like me sitting at home on my couch. You well, know I got to tell you, Tony, he's a good old country boy. He he's is missing somewhat... that barbecue stain right there, <laughs> and he looked just like last night. He is a hard-working son of a gun, and that's been proven here time in and time out all across the state of Oklahoma, now being proven at Texoma Pro Ring. But he's looking worse for wear here against the spotlight, Logan Knight. Yeah, Logan is – oh, uh, right there. Oh, a side backbreaker, and there – this is where it means a lot more when you hold him on your knee and you push his neck down and you push his hips down, putting the ultimate amount of torque on that low back. I don't know if you gentlemen have noticed, but Red hit those ropes weird earlier and he came up holding his back. He took that hip toss really hard and came up holding his back. Logan noticed that, goes straight to the back breaker, and as you said, applying that pressure, Logan Knight is focusing on the small of the back. If you control a man's back, he can't do much at all. That's what you call a ring general, noticing where an opponent is hurt and then refocusing all your attack in that area. I'd like to do a callback to my great commentary partner, Walker Stewart. As Logan Knight's in there flexing his wrestling IQ at the moment. Absolutely. That in-ring intelligence quotient is on display, ladies and gentlemen. Logan Knight, he had him in the middle of the ring, and Red James finally makes it to the ropes there. And Red was in trouble there. He needed to get that escape, that rope break. If not, if he was stuck in dead center of the ring, that could have been a submission right there. Yes, sir. Wrenching back on that back. Red trying to get to his feet here. Logan grabs him. Looks like taking him over for a snap nair. What the? Uh, 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 well, that was really slow compared to how you used to do it. You, you said like snap down with yeah, it, you know what a, I mean? On a, that, that, clo that no, no, that, no, that nowhere close. near, nowhere on near. On a scale of one to ten, that was a minus three. Yeah, that was horrible. Oh my gosh! If he tries to do a frog splash, I'm not even. No. I, I will, I will, I will jump from the hill. <laughs> I was about to say you're gonna jump over this table. You got your gear. Oh, I. Uh, Oh, Red's back, though. Did you see that? His I back think, yeah, Red's right back over. went out. He was going for a sunset flip. But notice how he sweeped the legs into the pinning attempt. Only a two count here. He stayed cognizant of what was going on. Turned it into a pinning attempt anyway. A great, great showing here by Red James so far. Very impre impressive. Red has impressed me over the last 24 hours in his two matches that I've seen. I mean, he, he came up short last night, but he still fought hard. Whoa! What's going on there? Logan Knight following it up with a forearm of his own. If there's one thing that Red James has, and he proven it yesterday, and he's proven it right now in this ring, it is heart, it is determination, it sure as hell is resiliency. Uh, as a guy who's been in that ring, I'm telling you, Red James' back is compromised. He, he was up against the ropes, he kind of hesitated, and then just completely fell right over. His back is in trouble. And I think Logan Knight knows that. He might have a bad bag at the moment, but what else he also has in great deal is some intestinal fortitude. That's right. Red James has guts. And those are on display right now. He's refusing to give up. He's firing up here tonight, gentlemen. Oh, oh hey. what a kick right to the gut there. My goodness. <laughs> Such good. Never mind. You see how to put the emphasis on gut. Exactly. We're seeing some great He's things out of Red puke. James here tonight. Up on his shoulders. Wow, it's scary. What are we going to see here, guys? Impressing me here. Uh, yeah, see the back. The That's back gave back. way. 
We start trying again. Yeah, no, you can definitely see that. One, two, just a two count. You got to believe that Red didn't get all of that. No, he didn't get all the Death Valley driver. You can see what he's going for, but that back was that is is 100% compromised. And if I were Logan Knight, everything I did from this point forward would be working on the low back. Just think, whatever body part you move, your back is coming to play in it. If you walk, your back gets gets moved. If you use your arm, your back gets moved. Absolutely. Wait, and, and hold on a second. I, I don't think we've seen this out of Red James before. Why is why the guy with the bad back going up to the rope? I'm not sure. I don't, we don't talked about that it. intestinal fortitude, the heart of the lion. Oh, oh, but he missed the form of the second rope. Totally missed it as Logan gets out of the way. And now Red comes swinging in. What oh, the hell? Oh, my gosh. Rolling through. Spotlight One, driver. Two, three. Spotlight driver. And that is it, folks. That's all she wrote. And that is lights out for Red James tonight. Light up the spotlight because this match is over. And he's going to be heading directly to the after party, folks. It's still early afternoon, so Logan's going to have a whole lot of time to get some partying on tonight. Extra hours here. Extra hours, yes, sir. That's Party in the daytime. Woo-woo. First round's on me, Logan. Good match, sir. I think Logan's going to be doing some day drinking. All right, folks. Well, next up. Next up on this monumental show here tonight, Texoma Pro, Ardmore, Oklahoma, Toy Drive.